My name is Lauren Talbot. I was diagnosed early 2019 and my diagnosis was actually triple negative breast cancer. Dr. Rupley for Turo Imaging was actually the one that did the biopsy and he, I, I found the spot myself. He biopsied it and um, after he found out it was positive, Dr. Colfrey did the surgery. He's actually my breast surgeon and um, Dr. Tandon actually did the, um, he's doing the reconstruction portion of it. My process was different. I actually got the diagnosis, mm -hmm. got surgery, I'm on chemo right now. Dr. Colfrey, me and him had an experience because he explained to me the, the, the surgical end of it. Mm -hmm. And after he helped me to see that that is a good option, because my question to him was, what would get me back to my life quickest, what would be the least um, traumatic for my body, and what would just give me the opportunity to get back to what I need to do, what's important in my life. And he just really helped me to see that this choice is a great choice. So when he introduced me to Dr. Tandon, when he referred me to Dr. Tandon, it just was just one cohesive circle. That's one thing I love about Turo. You know, when you're talking to one physician, it's as though all of the physicians are right there in the room with you. So I feel as though I'm treated individually and they take my whole person into consideration and my circumstances also into consideration and they really treat the whole person. It was Dr. Zechariah. I met him. He's actually my um, hemato hematological oncologist here at Turo. And he told me, about this program. So when I explained to him um, my circumstance, Dr. Tandon was kind enough to also listen and refer me. So then I was able to meet Lil and she's been taking good care of me, making me strong, make me feel as though I can climb a mountain. And I've been real impressed with the progress, even the fact that um, at first I was having a difficulty with writing for long periods of time. And I love writing. I really enjoy it. it's my pastime. And ever since I've been coming here to the cancer rehab, to date, I've probably reached out to at least 75 to 100 of my friends, just letter writing. At the rehab, it's some, I was getting a little bit of swelling. So um, lymphedema treatment, um, we were also doing endurance. Even we have a cooking program that, oh. But I enjoy the fact that they teach you how to make nutritious meals under two hours, and the prep work and everything is included. So I really appreciate that, and it's balanced. It's a balanced meal. You know, it's nutritionist, and it's helping me to add more protein into my diet, but in a healthy way, that and I so appreciate nice. that. This is a diagnosis that will not define me. It can't, because for me, my choice is to let it refine me. I've already made the choice. So when I make that choice, I know everything after that will fall into place so that way I can be able to progressively live successfully. I do want to suggest to anyone that has to sit across from a physician and hear that you're positive for cancer, for them to really look at the large picture. You had a life before they said cancer, and after the treatment is complete, you have an even fuller life because now you accept life not as it was, but how you determine it will be from now on because you make a lot of changes in your life and it's worth it. We're worth it. So I'd like to thank Ms. Vera, Ms. Paula, Ms. Danielle. I, that's just part of my cancer team. Then they have all of the ones in the rehab center. These are the ones from the rehab center, but then there's the ones from my oncology, mm -hmm. the hematological oncologist, Dr. Zachariah, his nurses. Oh, thank you all. Thank you. I always try to drop the T and the O and put my Y because it feels as though it's for me. It's my Turo.